who is Brash Shorthorn. It looks very simple. Oh. It's actually confusing. So, in order to show why this card might be, why we're saying this very straightforward card with no text is confusing, uh, let's go back to that the in, in uh, Primal. How about, how about earlier today, where I talked about Snow Crust Yeti, who is also yeah. an uncommon 1 power 2 1, but has a battle skill? Or, so, I don't know... Oni. Any Any given one-cost red unit, like... Oni, Oni Ronin. Ronin. Or... Oni Ronin is a good example because Oni Ronin is Pyronite. a common. <laughs> Pyronite's yeah. a rare, I guess. Uh, what yeah. other? Hell, even the like like the Stranger is another. Uh, yeah, like, like another Reckless common. Stranger. And that's yeah. even got the the tribal thing going. Or heck, now okay. Like, if Sweet. you want to get to right. uncommon, why didn't this thank, work? Thank you. Somebody fell for the trap. All right, Squirrel Token, you have fallen for my trap. Um, oh God. Because somebody said the defense of the card that I think is bullshit. You, you mean the entire one card support for Minotaur Tribal? Yes. Okay, let me get rid of these dumb filters. Uh, uh, back to Shadow. Back to Brash Shorthorn. Because Minotaur is just as supported a type as Yeti, and yet the Yeti gets a keyword. Mm-hmm. They they have the same number of cards that support them as a creature type, and yeah. yet the party starter, and yet, and yet, like, and and the the stranger also is a a tribal two one with that that effect is pumping the rest of your team. Mm -hmm. Like stranger has way more tribal. Every stranger card is a this, support for tribal. This card has no keyword for no reason like so I, th I think that they're really terrified of knife jack being too good which is really yeah. weird because nobody because, plays knife jack right like they're really careful about like giving shadows specifically one cost units that that are like aggressive and like too good where as soon as yeah. you get to two then you can have argent port ringleader yeah and <laughs> then all bets are off you can just have as much power as you want <laughs> Yeah, here's just like, have, have a three three idiot, <laughs> but uh, I I think they might be afraid because like Gito was the deck for a fair amount of time. Oh yeah, that might be more more's the point that like this card lost its keyword because they were scared of Gito or something. Yeah, they like might have been yeah. afraid of some kind of just cheap sly deck that was really crushing. Maybe, wait, no, no, no. Maybe it's like one of those magic eye things where if you stare at it, the text comes out. Of the background. This is hurting my eyes, actually. I'm going to put this down. Yeah. Goodbye, Brass right. Shorthorn. I think we perfectly understand your confusing nonsense. Next up is Fallen Oni, who's like an Oni Ronin that's reversed. It's a um, summon. It's, uh, it's actually reverse of Oni Ronin in most ways. It's a 1 1, it's one, one and 1 2, and it destroys your opponent's Warcry. <sighs> that's kind of cute. No, 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 yeah. unit. So if they work right oh, onto yeah. a weapon, they keep it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm. So, so of, of note, um, this is something that I, I know a couple people misread the first time. This card says the enemy player discards the top unit yeah. of their deck. This will like start going down their deck and just oh, and then slide out a card. It's not just your, not just mill one. It's it's not uh it's not pilfer. That is not pretty rude if they end up putting a um if they use second sight or a nesting avisor or something. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that, pop it nesting. This. Avisor is like the circumstance in which this card is very rude, but no one is ever going to do that. Those two cards are never going to interact because no one's going to play Fallen Oni anywhere, which is a bit sad. I do well. Okay, I, I like that this effect exists. Yeah, you know, like that's that's what I'm happy about. I'm not enthusiastic about playing the card, but if it really becomes the case that absolutely everyone is playing the nest nesting Avisor deck, I will be happy to make a Fallen Oni deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, yeah, you, you will you will turn to your fallen Oni and just start, you know, or... Be like, buddy, it yeah. is time to do some work. These clockroaches must be stopped. <laughs> clockroaches must die. It'll it'll be fallen Oni and uh, Reign of Toads, Reign of Frogs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll just die to too many frogs. <laughs> Which he can block! Which he yes! can block the frogs. Perfect. Frogs you don't like gonna... you don't like rain of frogs. I don't like Never. rain of frogs. Mm, I think I it's kind of poor. 
like I play I play it if I have no other interaction of that kind in the entire deck. I have been playing it in Chalice just because in the mirror, if you towed your opponent's channel, they can't win. <laughs> True. That yeah. I mean, it makes sense in that kind of deck. It's does. Yeah, we're it, like it's not. In, every, in a lot of matchups, it's really poor. It's like I've killed like. Flame Blast or whatever with the two, but usually it's like, okay, I'm doing this for the mirror. Yeah. All right. So next up is Jack's Knife, the mirror of <laughs> Knife Jack, which is a one cost, two two weapon, just plain old weapon that says the wielder deals two damage to you. I, so, I love this one. You if could, you play this on a life leaf cre lifelink creature, it does no damage. It does zero. <laughs> Hooray. Actually, yeah. Uh, I have one problem with this card. What's that? It's not a jackknife. Well, th that's the that's a possessive. It belongs to someone named Jack. That's all. Yeah. Knife Jack's jackknife. No, Jack. Who is I a Jack's... knife Jack? Jack knife. Jack. <laughs> to be a jack knife. Jack. Jack's jack. <laughs> jack the knife Jack has a knife. It's Jack's yeah, knife. But, but it's not a jackknife. It's it is <laughs> non jackknife. Jack's knife owned by Jack the knife Jack. <laughs> Just gonna start. And then, oh my goodness! <laughs> anyway, this card is fine. I kind of love it. No, I mean, like, okay. Now I am. I am outing myself. I like heavy axe. I like heavy axe. It is good. I play it in limited. I don't look back. It's and this is better than that. So it's better than that. So it's, there. Heavy I, axe. I will say is better than unholy strengths. I I like this card because it it. Its name is perfect. <laughs> this is it's Jack's knife, and it does the exact same effect as Knife Jack, but like as an aura instead of a, right. as a. So. <laughs> you play. You can smuggle stash two of these and two <laughs> Knife Jacks, and then it's die in like maximally damage. deal damage to yourself. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, quick question for uh, somebody who was never a Magic player: What's a, what, what's limited? Ah. Specifically, limited means. Um, well, really, we're we're talking about gaunt, uh, not gauntlet. Shit, where is it? Draft. Draft, but uh, Gaunt, forge gauntlet. also fits. Forge Draft. does fit, but you're fighting AI opponents, so you're probably not uh, like gonna yeah. do forge all that much. So we mean draft. Yeah. Uh, why mm. is it called limited in Magic? I'm, I'm just gonna about that pay for a draft and, and your, not do your it. Your resources are limited in some way. Right. You, you are oh God, I got Megatron, you guys! <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god. Alright, all right, so in the future, you're gonna do a draft that is based around Sentinel's might. Good, good force, to know. We're, we're your units forcing get... life, life uh, force in the future. This is so horrible. Why would I want... Ah, I just want it because it looks like Megatron. Megatron. Forced life force. The, the, the life, <laughs> your life is Jeez. forcing life force. It's fine. You'll get all the blood invocations and xenon auguries you could ever want. Yeah. Okay. So, let's let's go back. I'll I'll pick up on that later. Uh, for now, we're going back to the cards. Collection, yeah, yeah. filters, omens, uh, non-premium unowned, uh, and we were doing shadow. Shit, I'm in multi. -fact. Yeah, I, hate, I hate the card sort in this game because it should it defaults I to but it defaults to the right. It should default to the left. I also wish it didn't default to premium on. Mm, yeah. yeah. Seriously. That, that should that should be a default it's off. It's really weird. Uh but next up is now that we've explained limited. Uh next up is Swear Vengeance. I have seen this card played some. It's funny. same. <laughs> uh people trying to make a clockroach go. I, I mean, I think it's okay. I, the thing that... It's a f one cost fast spell. Mm. So I like that a lot. Just for being able to rep a different trick. This card has a little bit of a problem in that this card doesn't do anything right away. Um, I guess if you play this on Hero of the People, it does. Um, but... Yeah, there is that. I mean, what I what I see this as is... Like, one cost to revive a unit. You yeah. Know, just sort of jankily, which might even make it better, because that protects <laughs> it from sweepers, 
right? The jank part like the future is sweeper. why I think this card has potential. Because this card gives one of your units revenge. Which means they've made a way to give a card destiny. And now we're getting places. Yeah. So we could okay. So you could build the uh, Fire Shadow Phoenix deck. Wait, how does that work actually? I'm sorry. How does that work? I don't... The the Phoenix, you, you know the one. Hold on. Oh, let, let me pull it. Fire up. Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix? Uh, World it, it's not Fire... a Phoenix. <laughs> no, I said that on accent because I don't speak English very well. But, uh... That's fine. <laughs> Wor World Pyre Phoenix. This thing. Yeah. See. Draw World Pyre Phoenix from your void with plus three, plus three, and cost increased by three. Wait. Yeah, Destiny oh, says no. when drawn, play it and draw No, this this won't work. Because, okay, you, this is about to die. You give it revenge. It entombs. Its entomb trigger goes off. And it either goes to your hand or your deck, and I don't know which. Yeah, basically... But I think the entomb still works, which yep. means it um, would just sort of have revenge in your hand, and that's not useful. Right. Crap. I, I disappeared on this for a second. I believe that the revenge overtakes the entomb. It's hard to huh. say. What, what what layer of replacement effect are we on? Right? I don't. <laughs> like, in magic, know. it wouldn't work. No, it it then... it cannot do both because the entomb effect is trying to put the card in a zone, and the revenge effect is also trying to put it in a different zone. So it cannot both go to your hand and go to the top of your your deck. Wait, okay. d d wait, is the tomb just a death trigger, though? Because if it just triggers on death, then... Um, I kind of like, want to like figure out how this works. Like, does, it just, go, does it just go down <laughs> as far down the list it can go? Like, it tries to revenge, loses revenge, gains destiny, goes to your hand with destiny, and because you drew it, it replays itself? Like, hmm, I guess this is something we can test, because I own yeah. most of these cards. Yeah. <laughs> we can just create we'll some swear of... vengeance, but... I mean that's we'll 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 get to that at a later time. I don't I don't need to figure that out. I think this card is neat. Uh not something that I, I want a lot of It's got combo mm. potential. It does have combo I, potential. I have seen I've seen some combos with it. I'm okay. sure he's yeah. The card directly cute. to the right of it is in those decks. Uh, so next up is Toctic, which mm -hmm. is a one cost one one with revenge. I'm I'm convinced that this card is the reason that 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 uh, two one over to the left doesn't have a keyword because like they want that. You know, it's like oh, we could have given that one revenge, but we already gave the clockroach revenge. Yeah. So yeah. this is yeah, it, this is importantly is a clockroach, uh -huh. which so, precisely one other card in the entire world cares about. But uh, wow. <laughs> well, luckily, that other card has echo, so it's actually two other cards. Yeah. <laughs> So this this could be a clockroach deck where you know you play you just freely play your toctic out and then it into it revenges and then it gets all the pumps from the clockroaches that you play yeah, that's and draws you more clockroaches. If, <laughs> if you can give regular clockroach revenge, it works out very well though because the echo and the destiny interact very favorably. Because both e both echoed copies trigger the destiny. Like you draw two cards after they play. Yep. Well, they, well, hold themselves. on, this guy doesn't have. A... No, no, but I'm if sorry, you but... use oh, 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 you're saying swear vengeance. On okay, swear vengeance on Clockroach. Okay, yeah, oh, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, double yeah. Dest or echo destiny has always been kind of stupidly powerful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this does not look like anything, but is freaking amazing in one specific deck. So. Uh... Yeah, Again, I Clark think tactical. He's he's gonna make it. Yep. I kind of want. Well, okay. If if Clockroach did not exist, what would this if be doing? Um, a a chump blocker that comes back. Yeah, the two worst chump blockers. version of a green card. Oh, you like the Aegis guy more than this? I like the all oh, the two mana one one flyer with revenge. Two mana for the okay. Well, he has, he does have flying. Yeah, he's flying. Uh, okay, he's okay. okay. So this that's that's toxic. Next toxic. up is long shot mark. 
The S man, uh, long shot marksman. He kind of looks like Tommy. So, <laughs> hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I made it into a tunnel. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, he's a two on quick draw with an ultimate to become a four three. Yeah, uh, four power first strike is very difficult to deal with. This guy's all right. Good. Yeah. I think what this compares speed. to. No, this compares to uh, what's her face. Mm-hmm. The, the, the uh, fire Wakana. lady. Yeah. yeah. This game's uh, Blood Knight or whatever. Rockano Outlaw? Yeah, Rockano Outlaw. Yeah. yeah. He's way worse than that. Oh, certainly. But uh, very good. He's sort of fine. Limited. Yeah. This sort of decent Play two, unit. Two drops. Yet another like playable guy who has one health. I'm starting to think that snowballs are the way to go. That. Uh. Man, if only we could have Vara's favor in in draft. I I think this oh. may exactly be the reason we don't. Yeah. <laughs> so next up is Piercing Grief, which I assure you is a unit and not a spell. <laughs> ah. Two cost. Mm. Two cost three one with uh, Life Steal Revenge Charge, and at the end of your turn, sacrifice Piercing Grief. Mm-hmm. So we, we, I have seen this card in constructed do some rude things where like I where my opponent gave this card echo and then Ooh. and then hell began as like <laughs> that it's a lot of grief. A lot, a lot of, grief. of grief. Yeah. Like they used scheme and Xenon uh uh augury to to like look at the top bunch of cards in their deck and just keep playing it over and over again and draw a bunch of cards off of the destiny that it gets and like it it it. Uh, How did they give it uh, echo? A crown of possibilities could do it, but they did the the five costing unit that was a uh, the just, uh, just uh, oh, Elysian Pathfinder. So, he's uh, one of my change. favorite guys, but he's kind of. Well, they gave janky. it echo. They gave it echo after the revenge, though, because they knew that it was you know coming. They gave it, they gave it the destiny. So. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Oh uh, man, dark return. I like the idea of dark return on a revenge. Ooh. Well, because well, it beca- no. well, becomes destiny. Yeah, because she just one mana. Wait, play does it. it does it keep the destiny forever? Yeah, yes. it keeps the destiny forever. Ooh. So your well dark done. return just plays it, and you draw a card, <laughs> <laughs> which is still very good. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, anyway, thing, the, so kind of fun, but I don't think he's very good. Does he oh. slot into some kind of just low end aggressive deck there, like the spark elemental aspect of it, instead of the combo ex aspect of it? I think so. I think there's there's room there for it. One of the one of the things I found playing against it is it was very awkward to stop with a, a like removal is is useless on it, and yeah. it's very good at blowing up weapons and just like I I need Ooh. to crack your armor. Yeah, like I play decks with Caleb's favor in it, and I might consider like cutting some of my larger end gamey burn. For something just early, just because, uh, like to lower the curve a like little the, bit. The reservation I have about this guy is that you can block him with a scaly gruen. Does anybody like, play those? Well, yeah, scaly gruen's fine. You like I, you use it to to shore up the ground while you play I've, your flyers and all that. In 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 constructed, I use I haven't seen that because Borderlands Wayfinder is the one yeah. I haven't seen in constructed. Which, I guess the card this thing runs into in constructed is Cumbri Healer, which has been stopping oh, aggressive whoa. creatures forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's that's piercing grief for you. Next is... it's also worth, you can also use it for like combust or Ooh. sacrifice type effects. L- yeah, Life force as well, like. Mm-hmm. Oh god, scare. Next up is scare, baby. I'm scared of this card. <laughs> Swap a unit sword and a heart. Oh no. My, <laughs> my, my my heart is now a sword and my sword is now a heart. <laughs> okay, that, like, is... no, that would be way better in Dark Souls, right? Mm. <laughs> what, wait, what, what, why isn't the art of this card a person like that? A person in combat that looks like they're swinging a weapon but they're holding a heart and have a sword in their, in their chest? Like, <laughs> So, that would be uh, way more metal. This card doesn't <laughs> do anything because this card has existed in Magic before at the same cost, except it drew a card when you played it, and it still wasn't playable. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was one cost even. It was... No, in, like I yeah, they they inside made out. okay inside out later got 
turned into a blue card. That ah, was twisted. yeah, twisted image, and that was made to uh, kill the what's it's the spell. zero four spell skite uh, spell skite. <laughs> Is so there yeah, a spell skite in the game? Of there, are no, there are no spell skites. No spell skites. I mean, there are like zero health units, sure. Right, but there's nothing like. Or there's zero, no zero, zero health sword. unit that is like. Yeah, there's no zero. Yeah, there's zero health unit. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Uh, it's Idol of Destrin. And you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Swap a unit's Keyblade and Heartless. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is good for the jokes, well, but not good away. for anything else. Yeah, this yeah. part's not very good. Next up is Threaten. Which is a fast uh, spell that says give one of your units plus two a sword? Mm-hmm. What so, the hell is happening? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to note that Rapid Shot is a card that exists mm-hmm. in the game of Eternal Card Game. And yeah. this. I mean, this, this, is, this is a permanent around. pump. It, st- it sticks around, and I think it sticks around even through death. So, so yeah, like... it does, and uh, the reason this exists is because they printed Revenge, and they wanted something that interacted with it. Okay. So, how does this come? Okay, we've come to this question again. How does this compare to Ornate Katana? Ooh. Well, well in the Revenge harder. deck, it's it's better, right? Mm-hmm. It's also a fast spell, so you've traded the it's, Cantrip it's like, for the fast aha. It's like similar, I guess. Like similar power level to Ornate Katana, so, but so you want to use this like in mid combat on like a quick draw to win the fight and then keep the two power, you know? Yeah. Or maybe even just to like deal four damage to your opponent because you attack, pump it, and then like next turn you you get to attack again and keep the damage around. Or maybe play it on a lifelink. Yeah. The, 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 the most aura. confusing part of this to me is what the hell is happening in the card? Like, mm. okay, well, I like, threaten you, so you have more attack power now. No, well, it's who's, the beard. Who is threatening beard, whom? Is the, the unit beard, threatening the opponent? Uh, the guy on the right is who has been. He's been giving the bu- He's been given the buff of the spell, which makes him <laughs> larger. And also hold have on. A beard. Yeah, I was, was going to say, hold on. Look at the guy on the right. He is clearly <laughs> leaning downwards. Like, and he's very large. He's this like a fourteen-foot is... tall man. <laughs> How tall is this human? This is very is large. This a human. Well, we like okay, to... like I I had to take I had to take some some training for my work that was like, you know, if if someone like, I I don't know what they were actually trying to say, but it it was it was like corporate security awareness like don't hand out your password that kind of stuff. But the yeah. image was of like a scaled up guy with like a bandit mask on, and I'm sorry. <laughs> If a 14-foot tall man with a mask on <laughs> walks into my office and starts demanding things, I'm going to give them to him. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd from uh, Who's Framed Roger Rabbit comes Yeah. Up, and it's huge. I'm going to fold. Uh, Anyways, this card's that's... not great. It might be a 23rd or... Combo with Revenge. 20... Kind of crappy at, outside I think of that. If... A 23rd is called a 27th or 26th in this game, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, but I think we just still stick with 23rd is like the way to say it. The thing, but... Mayor. Next up is Amethyst Ring, which actually looks like an Amethyst this time. I'm it's gonna actually give him credit for that. Wait uh-huh. a second. Are these supposed to have been worn by the crown The people? Scions, like is, I think, yeah. Yeah, the Scion? Like, is this the ring of... What's your name? I've never, I never put that together for the other ones. Right, because those had nothing to do with the other, like, well, for, this Scion kind of effects. Like, this kind also, of looks like, Vi- for like Vara for one, and for two, it actually casts it's Vara's It's casting Vara's favor, yeah. Well, kind of. Well, like, the the front half, and, like, but but it was noticeable. Like, you, we could read yeah. this as Vara's favor. Um, This is here as a, the hero power button to turn on like life forces that don't care about the amount of life you're gaining that just want it on I guess yeah. if you're playing this with even like there are like I guess it is the so, other one if you also have the life force guy who makes a so, one one yeah mentioning this thing sets off spark cards but if we're paying three and then like trying to spark afterwards what what power do we have left yeah, you know? it's like, also out of faction for spark yeah. Which is right. like Stormcrag. Skycrag. Uh, yeah, Skycrag. Yeah, it's, it's not Stormcrag. Oh my it's god. Not Stormcrag. It is the it, it's the aggro crag. 
<laughs> well, I got the crag part. You're you're right. You got the important part. You you you're fine. <laughs> so uh, this card's not very good, but yeah, ability. Yeah. Uh... I, th I think we've said that about all these rings. Uh, one of them. Wait, we've done uh, we've done time right. The time ring is actually quite good because it's mobilization, which I will I... play in limited. I, I, I hit my hero power button on my paladin. And... Yeah, okay. that will win you games in in the game without a ping pa hero power. Yeah, okay. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna. Next up is Cabal Slasher. <laughs> I, I have no particular opinion about the Amethyst ring apart from the illustration. So we're moving on to Cabal Slasher. Okay. Uh, which is a three mana one three with life. Force when you gain heart, Cabal Slasher gets that much sword, and he keeps it. Oh. The, that much on this is what makes the card real. Uh, I've definitely lost a game of like you know draft where this person showed up and immediately had four power and was going to threaten having seven or eight the following turn. <laughs> it's kind of cute when you uh, like attack with this guy, or you, you play this guy and then attack with your Umburn Reaper, and it's like, <laughs> alright, you want to dance? <laughs> Let's go. God, right, just give this guy a left eye Falchon. Oh yeah, if you do that, then the game is <laughs> over. <laughs> like, what if I have my own lifelink, and then just like, just vroom. Yeah, Lethrai. Yeah, yeah Lethrai Felshawn is a, a weapon that gives lifelink, and that's pretty easy. It's in faction. Come on, it's in faction. It's, it's, it's even on curve. Yeah, <laughs> on curve. Uh, Lethrai Falcon is a rare, I think, for this thing. Yeah, in common. Yeah, in the life force deck and drafts, this thing is pretty powerful. This guy might even be like good enough to get into some kind of constructed deck. I, I think the upside is really, really high on this guy, but the the floor is also rather low. Yeah, he like, starts okay. life as a. Is that if I, I if think, I can't gain life? Oops. I think that's life force in a nutshell, right? Like all, yeah. a lot there of There are some life reasonable force life force cards. Here. There are some reasonable. True. Life force. I, th I think the 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 one one overwhelm, for instance. True. Like that's. But. It, like you gained life the once, and it's suddenly wow! This is so much better than its cost. Right. Whereas this you is... know you could gain life once with this guy and have a two three. True. You could also play the Echo uh, card that has says Game Three Life <laughs> on it. Yeah. They they tried so hard to make that like a reasonable thing to be doing, and it still isn't. Still is I not. Anyway, okay. uh, we're moving on to Cat Burglar, who's stealing the Crown of Possibilities, mm -hmm. and is otherwise just a. Like a direct lift from superhero comics. What? Yeah, this is a super. This is a super villainous. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's like, not like a Batman enemy, or maybe a Batman frenemy. Looks at the camera. Yeah, um, I guess. <laughs> this card is incredible, by the way. Uh, three mana two two. Okay, yes. it's deadly. That's that's pretty good. Yes. That's yeah. pretty good. And then, let's see, the enemy player discards a relic of your choice from their hand. Hey, hey, why is she a gunslinger? So what? Wait, 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 what, what, wait what's the she, gun here? It's Hold her on. gun off camera. Does she steal the gun? No, no, no her, her, her left hand has a gun that she's mm -hmm. off. off so of. they know something we don't. <laughs> also, she's in the she's in an Orzhov Basilica. Look at the yeah, for real. background. <laughs> is that where the Crown of Possibilities is hidden? Yeah, the Crown of Possibilities is in... They stole it from the Azorius or whatever. Uh, I love this card a lot. This card is a very toolbox creature that will get work done. Is like Relicate has been like hard, and now they've made it like a reasonable card. Yeah, the, well, yeah. R the thing with relics is that a, there's a lot more of these like huge things you need to you want to discard that like you know any weapon, hmm. uh, Xenon Obelisk, Crystalline Chalice. Uh, like there's all sorts of these relics that are uh, curses are, are relics. So like you, you get a permafrost out of your opponent's hand. So and, and relicate until yeah, that now kind of... has been few and far between. Wait, curses count as relics? Curses are relics. Permafrost I, I know is that, a relic. I knew they counted as attachments, but I didn't think that they were relics. Attachment and relic are synonyms. <laughs> it's just relic weapon, and the fact that well, relic weapons are called. Actually, wait, are they? No, 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 because, like, Azindel's Gift says oh. Cursed Relic on it, but Permafrost just says Curse. Cursed Attachments. 
Ah. Oh, good. Oh, good. I don't so think this, I, I don't think you can nug permafrost with this. I guess we, um, there's one way to find out, but or um, whatever. Like, there's no, <laughs> permafrost is the only straight curse in the game. There's technically like detain or something. Uh, right. The, the real point is you're you're hitting. Okay. <laughs> you're hitting like, a sword. I still like this card, even though I'm heavily confused by the game's nomenclature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably the worst part. Restrain. That's what it is. Restrain. Thank you. Restrain. Goodness. I think that's why I keep using the magic terminology, just because it's more clear. <laughs> yeah, be, but that's well, but that's an important distinction yeah. in this, right? If, if like, it is, if it is a distinction, it, well, hold on. Yeah. What what's what what's Furnace Mage's text? Like, does that destroy? Uh, I think it just says destroy that, attachment. That says attachment. So does ruin. Oh, God. I know. Oh, detain is the fast spell. Yeah, Mark, Mark of shame. shame Mark the, of uh, shame is the the actual. Uh, Maybe. Can I filter by curse? Is curse a thing you can do by? Right? Uh, can I type on. What, no, what if I say curse? Power unit attachments. No. Well, you can if you type in curse, maybe. No, I did, and it didn't. There, there oh. were no curses. No, I typed in curse for all cards. And yeah, because there's no curse in this set. There, there, there aren't in, in this set and color, I guess. The curses are mark of shame, permafrost, Azendel's gift, touch of the umbrin. Oh, touch of the umbrin. And oh, right. black iron manacles. Okay, so cursed relic, cursed relic, and then three just curses. Mm -hmm. Huh. But nobody ever plays one of them. Okay, well, next up is extract, which uh, three power two shadow influence spell with lifesteal that deals three damage and scries one. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a. Uh... This... Whew. This card's powerful. It's, like, uh... th this is removal. It's also like one of the best life force enablers you could want to play because it's like, ah, uh, you know, I kill Valkyrie Enforcer, get to, to have card selection, and also trigger all my things. Uh -huh. This is a large... Did you know we pay like six mana to just a life steal deal four damage to... <laughs> I think that one can't even dome, whereas this one, maybe it might be able to dome. This no, can also it can't. dome. It can't yeah, dome. that, that other dome. one can't dome. This one can't. Damn. <laughs> extract is good. Play extract. Play Yeesh. I've seen this in constructed. Yeah. Uh, Next up is uh, Lethari Memory Keeper. Memory hyphen elf. keeper, who's an elf explorer uh, and a three power four one. Wait, elves? Yeah, there are yeah. elves in this game. The Lethari the are elves. They're all oh. elves. Okay. okay. Uh, also, yeah, Lethari okay. Ranger, for instance. We have we have the elf here. Where's the explorer at? We've established that. <laughs> no, he can, he can he can have a job. He can be the ah, explorer okay. too. He's, he's keeping his, he's memories by axes, sir. Yeah. No. In this case, he's got knives with little axes on them. The, those, the, get out of here with that. <laughs> We're putting this guy in the garbage where he belongs. We're moving on to means to an end. Wait, wait, means more, to an oh, no. There's one other thing I want to say about Lithrai Memory Keeper. Uh, what, is the, what is the other thing? He should be wielding a Falchion. Because he is a 4-1. Well, then, mm. then they'd have to give him lifelink. Ah, uh, true enough. No, the I sword gives you lifelink. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> it means to an end. <laughs> But he's keeping the memory of life link to himself. How about that? <laughs> in his hooks. <laughs> in, in the hook. In the hook axe. The hook, sword, knife. They're very silly. Means to an end. Means to an end is a three cost r legendary relic. It says life force. When you gain heart, discard that many cards from your deck, which is milling. It doesn't, you don't actually ever draw them. They call it discarding when it moves from there to there, whatever. Uh, then, if you have no cards in your deck, sacrifice means to an end to deal 25 damage to the enemy player. And which is the relic here? Is it the bombs or is it the gem rolls? <laughs> is it the tape? I, is, is it, it both? Tape? I want to say it's both. I love that it's just some tape. Like, <laughs> they, Yeah, like... This card doesn't make any sense. And I much think that more like they bad. were no, no, no. I, I honest to God think that they were rushing the the illustration for the cards out out the door because they had their set designed and they were just like they're trying to push it out the door. They're like, oh man, we're already behind. We wanted to release it last week. We just don't have art for all these cards. And someone said, okay, screw it. 
no one knows what this card is supposed to look like, so just like put some dynamite on some gems and and ship it. <laughs> like forget it. The the uh, is this supposed to be like um uh a, an event that happened within the game? Like like <laughs> some some was this when the Gemeralds blew up? Did did Argentport blow up? Was that the city that blew up? Mm. Whatever. Yeah, the, 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 I, don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is definitely like you you have this card. Your deck is built around this card. Um, Pray you, to God your opponent doesn't gain life or armor. Uh, you, you know you you can play multiple copies and then yeah, you can have it, multiple it, it means. Accelerates. True. Yeah, it is. It does accelerate. Like, mm, man, what if um, like you're playing this with like celestial omen? I almost oh thought God. about. Uh, this doesn't work because it's a relic, not a, a weapon or, or attachment or whatever. Mm. But anyways, this thing is uh, goofy. Make a deck if you open it, but don't. This, don't is, this is the this world's m like most budget doomsday device. Yeah, like, all right, I need to threaten, like, you know, I need to hold the world hostage with, <laughs> I don't know, dynamite on some crystals. Like, uh, put that off camera. Please do not show that when I'm making my, like, video of, like, Demanding the ransom for the city, like please. <laughs> Maybe show. Yeah, the I, I think I, I would be know. astonished if this ever ever worked. I've, um, I've seen I've seen people try to play it. It uh, it definitely one one of the things that works in its favor is that like because you're playing a bunch of life gain, it's harder to kill you. Yeah, if plus just, your but... win con is kind of uninteractable unless they interact with it. In which case, what do you do? I th I think, like, I think they can't win if I play one Lumen Shepherd. Like, <laughs> what did they do well, about an opposing life gain deck? Uh, opposing life gain deck is bad. Uh, Umbran Reaper helps with it. Uh, what mm. the the better question is, what do they do if you Aegis? It's like, oh boy. Uh, Again, um... Var, like you, Winds your, protect uh, me. Yeah, wind <laughs> protect me. Uh, the wind will stop the dynamite general Scotch tape explosion. <laughs> I good thing the winds were around for that. Uh, next up is Skeeter. Did Ron Spencer come out of retirement? Holy crap. Uh, three cost, one, two, with flying and lifesteal. He's got a lot of jaggies. Yeah, he's got a lot yes. of jaggies. Do you remember Fast Bat? I kind of remember Fast Bat, yeah. It's a card from Cons. Yeah. This reminds me of Fast Bat, because it has less keywords than Fast Bat, but it has the keyword I wanted Fast Bat to have. Just life steal. Yeah. Um. This is the creature you want to put Jack's knife on. Mm. Uh. This is a creature meant to like very slowly like turn on your life force. Like you attack and like ah I gain one life and now my life force triggers are all active and I draw a card. It's it's decent and limited for Argonport decks because those tend to be very uh, weapon heavy. It's like the. I play a corn watch. Uh, the, long the thing sword that I don't, I, I can't really follow you guys on with this is that, like Cloud Snake Serpent, is a one cost one two yes. flyer, and yes. mm -hmm. this costs two more than that, and so you're paying mm -hmm. two for the life steal, and I just don't think that that's worth it. I, I don't, I don't think it's worth it unless you have a very specific deck that wants the life steal, and even then there are better options. I believe. Uh, I. I kind of see this as like a budget uh, silver wing familiar in for limited decks. Like you, tr you don't have ages, but you have an extra point of toughness. Like flying and life steal are a known good quantity, a good combination. The other, okay. The other consideration is I think if I'm if I'm not going to play vampire bat, I'm not going to play this either. Right. That's that's okay. That's that's my full evaluation of that card. So okay. ne next up is sorrow's shroud. Who is definitely a Diablo enemy? <laughs> what the hell? Definitely. No, that's not even an enemy. That's a, that's a that's a that's just an armor. You 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 beat it up, and a tiny piece of this, armor comes out. This right. is one of the things you fight in uh, Act Five when you're going on your way to kill what's his name? Malthale. Malthale. Yeah. yeah. So sorry, this crowd. Uh, three cost weapon with plus one plus two. When the wielder dies, you gain heart equal to its heart. Um, Thumbs down. This seems pretty poor. There's a f isn't there like a four mana two two weapon that does the same thing only on ETB in in time? Yeah, yeah. Healer's, Healer's cloak. Healer's cloak. 
I guess that shrouds okay. and cloaks are what mm. give you give you life. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like this at all. Uh, okay, then we're done with it. Goodbye. <laughs> Next up right. is Spur. <laughs> Next up is the dog, BB. Hi, BB. BB, come here. She must have heard a noise. BB, BB, it's BB. Spur on. It has revenge. Come here. Give one of your units plus one attack and unblockable this turn. Come here, puppy. You don't have to bark. Come here. It's dog stream time. And it's time for dog. What do you guys think of uh, Spur on? Um, I like unblockable. It's worse a... than Distortion Strike. That said. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's a card that is in a different game. <laughs> yeah, different game. Yeah. It's, it's kind of close to Distortion Strike. Um, I guess if you get your board clear by the time you revenge well, it. Yeah. Well, 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 ignoring ignoring revenge, ignoring that, unblockable, like, this is a way to just, I don't know, I, I turn on infiltrate very easily with this and don't mm -hmm. feel bad. I have, just, I have... It definitely gets played in the infiltrate decks. Maybe instead of the trickster's cloak, because I haven't seen that card as much. Or I've seen, like, this versus levitate is your yeah. choice. Yeah, uh, that, that's kind of it. It's an interesting card. I think I like the, the trickster's cloak a little more than this. Yeah, I well, I think honestly this feels more of a limited card, and in limited, I'm just happy to accept that like yeah. This is what so this is like have. three cost two, like asynchronous well, unblockables and draw a card. The uh, advantage this has over Trickster's Cloak for constructed is that when you're playing, like you can play it on guys that either that die or change zones when they when they do their thing like play this on recurring nightmare or play this on the gorgon fanatic and not feel bad about it right yeah that's that's true trickster's cloak on gorgon fanatic was never, never <laughs> that, was, that was felt pretty bad so uh next up is one of my favorite skylanders uh three cost fast spell trigger happy <laughs> your units get quick draw this turn he's so cute he's a goblin who shoots money <laughs> Ooh, it's really great. Your units get quick draw this turn. All of your units. Uh, uh, this is a quick spell, like a fast spell. Sadly, cannot work on defense because this is eternal. This could be a blowout. I yeah. Guess. Um, yeah. So many guns. Like the guy, they he clearly has guns in his fingers too that are like invisible because there are muzzle flashes from those Wait, you know just say where are those muzzle flashes coming from right there oh, okay like, are those muzzle flashes or are they like projectile I, no, I choose to believe they're they are muzzle flashes no 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 th those are muzzle flashes but he's fired three shots like go, go pulling up from the hip he's like, like double he's like triple tapped yeah, yeah like I, I understand that that's what they're trying to convey, but the the illustration also, doesn't fully support that because a flash wouldn't last that that right. long. And but that's not how. Yeah, that's physics. just how quick their quick draw. <sighs> oh my goodness! Sure. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which is something. Magic. Did you do you know that like actual quick drawing of that kind requires both hands on one gun, and the idea yeah, is you keep you pull the hammer back yourself and hold the trigger down. What is the skill in in mm -hmm. uh, in Overwatch called Jens? Where the guy does it? Oh, the 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 tumble. Like is it, it called? Is, don't they just call it fan the hammer? Yeah, fa yeah, fan the hammer. Uh, you're holding the trigger down. Yeah, that's so that's hammer. that's how real world quick drawing works. I don't know how like Fake magical fable cowboy quick drawing <laughs> works. Apparently, you could just do it. What is uh, that on his little loin capelet? Is that like a... <laughs> uh, is that like a... Sick... <laughs> Mag <laughs> Magical, fantabulous <laughs> loin capelet cowboy. Is it like yeah. a, a staff of Caduceus or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. It it's does... got three, though. No, no, no. It kind of looks like the... Um, it looks like the symbol for Gridania in Final Fantasy XIV. Ah... Well, no, it's not, Caduce, it's not a Caduceus, it's the other one. Elfino shows up and just tells me the history <laughs> of this kid. Stares at this guy's crotch and tells him the history. Okay, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're done with Trigger Happy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done here. We're off to Cabal Bludgeoner. A form on a 2-3 with uh, plus 2, plus 2 while wielding a weapon. So your upside, if you can equip this, is a base is a Yeti stat line. 
if you're gonna equip it. That's that's okay. Yeah, but really, it's like you're getting you, at that point. It's like I put you know, it's like six power. Yeah, There's like a, a two know, free power. work rise on a thing. That's we've we've determined that four mana four four is vanilla in certain colors. So you're getting one bonus toughness for the yeah. drawback of what is unequipped. what is what is what is she wielding there? Is that just a gigantic hammer? I think that's a furnace component. Yeah, it's a, it's a piston. Mm, yeah, it's a piston from a furnace. Just you know, whatever is handy. Uh, the the deflection on the man's cheek is shaped wrong, I think, because it looks like he's been hit in the other direction. But yeah, it's really hard to tell. On the backswing, maybe she's. I mean, at least twice. the at least the lighting is is more or less accurate. Mm -hmm. Like the, it's pretty consistent. There are some cards in this that are illustrated like lit from all different directions, and it's really yeah, also really weird. Her pauldron is on the wrong arm too. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Next up is cripple, which mm. is a plain old spell that says give an enemy unit minus three minus two. Give him the pipe. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just the I'm with a hit pipe. you in the back of the pipe. And that feels for all the world like what you're actually doing to the creature because this is very uh, poor as far as removal goes. Yeah. Uh, like we called a tar snare was a fast spell that did yep. this. In strength, strength, of the strength of the underworld. Underworld, mm. that's it. That Even said, that, yeah. worst, the worst possible removal is still usually playable and limited. Yeah, like sometimes you don't get death strike and you're playing cripple instead. Mm-hmm. And yes, really? okay, it does permanently lower a unit's stats, which is yeah. sometimes useful, but the, the only circumstance of playing this is in draft, and like recur recursion is way, way more uncommon. If, in, if, in if I'm if I like if I'm playing constructed and like this is my answer to Don Walker, I've done something horribly wrong because like I it, it, like why didn't I just play plague or something like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh... If this had a, another drawback on it for the creature you played it on, like if it was like, I would like it a bit more. Honestly, like... like... <sighs> make it a stab wound is what I'm saying. Mm. A stab wound, you would you would yeah, aim be... to make stab wound work because it had the life drain on it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Hate Cleaver. Mm. It's a four cost, three, two relic weapon with life force when you gain heart hate cleaver gets plus one plus one. Oh shit <laughs> yeah this is the, the the great cleaver this Amazing. this is the kind of life force payoff i've been waiting for because holy shit a, a, little... a relic weapon that can gain its own stats is generally good looking back at my opinion of the uh the fire card that i don't think is good but <laughs> Like, right. this is repeated. It's, like, fine on its face. You get, like, Sword of Akaria for nothing. And then... Well, well, okay, Sword of Akaria for plus one in a weird faction. And then, uh... Hey. <laughs> Bigger. And then it's in the it's in color for Smuggler's Stash, so you pull it back, it keeps its bonus, and keeps going. And, mm -hmm. man... This card's quite good. I... It starts a little... Like, the... Even if you pump this to turn you play it and it becomes a 4-3 weapon it'll have it might have some trouble surviving the turn but if you can keep this thing alive it will end the game for you eventually <laughs> right i think i think the model is you play this and then attack with a couple life seal units and you're like okay <laughs> what like, do you do like the uh the three sex we talked about the timing on that's a little awkward usually you want to attack with your relic weapon before you attack with your creatures but that's still this is like this isn't this is this is attack your opponent then attack your creature in terms of like what this relic weapon does i think this works better as like a game ending threat than as a control piece it just you can also use it as a control piece right i'm, I'm willing to post combat my weapon and like you know attack if that weapon is a five four yeah crunch that is the hate cleaver also it is called hate cleaver <laughs> leaving hate it's a pretty good hook next up is memory dodger dredger the memory dodger dodger uh, dodger memories. memory memory dredger it's a four cost three four flying so that's already fine Oops. when memory dredger hits the enemy player play a unit with cost two or less from your void shit <laughs> 
Whiz, this is whiz. this is not an infiltrate. It keeps happening. That's that kind of disgusting. God, this should be an infiltrate, it right? It should. Like, it isn't for some fucking reason, but it should. We have a keyword for. Heck, do, we have a keyword for the the, the 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 that was the yeti for or the not the yeti. It yeah, was the yeti well, sized man. Right, right, the yeti sized man, Torlov. But like yeah. the whole hits thing, I think means attack damage only. I don't. I don't know that for certain. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. I don't know that like, weird. If I play the ice bow or whatever, do I get a unit from my? <laughs> is do is I get that a, a hit? Yeah. But uh, this thing is. Uh, I've seen this before. I've seen this already in constructed. This thing is a is a is beefy. This would would you consider it a a nightmare? It's a pretty good nightmare. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. What is the actual nightmare here? Because is it the thing or is it like what? is the thing a memory? I guess I guess we remember wait. The, uh Dark Wisp. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wait, is it making the, the, the like give me money like thumb ah! against fingers <laughs> symbol like Hey buddy, you better pay, pay up. up. <laughs> or I will dredge your memories. Next up is Relentless Gorehorn. Which oh my god, I can't believe it's here. Uh four power four power three three with revenge. And summon your other minotaurs. Get plus two sword. Yep. It's here. The, the <laughs> minotaur <laughs> tribal. The one minotaur tribal card. I guess there are, there are minotaurs in uh, Injustice. Mm -hmm. So Ar maybe yeah, Argentport is the. Yeah. So and and Argentport is the revenge <laughs> faction. So. So th this is the. I think until now, all all Minotaurs have been green. I've been Justice, but they added a bunch in in, uh, in Shadow, in shadow yeah. for for this sort of thing. Hmm. It, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Relentless Gorehorn. We are going to I'm, relent on you. I'm looking, and there were like multi-faction minotaurs like champion of progress or minotaur ah. ambassador that's where minotaurs were before but now they're in Argentport. port hmm. anyway I've, that's that's my minotaur report so next up is savage stranger both savage Ooh. and strange who's a four cost three three and at the end of your turn strangers get plus one sword yeah this this has been on one other shadow card that was actually a split faction card so they've decided to put it on this guy this guy's all right um, I don't know if he's going to make it into any sort of uh, stranger deck, but that can be quite the since stranger decks tend to flood the board. This can be quite the yeah. amount of power on a single guy. He's sort of fine on his own, though. Like mm -hmm. he works four, on four, four, thread. four cost four three is kind of what we play in uh, in draft, and then one turn later, he's he's better than that. So that's that's pretty good. Hmm. No, he's I, I like him. He's well enough. Strangers. It's savage. I I know I'm going to come up to the circumstance where you know, my opponent has a bunch of strangers and like uh, this is my card and I wish he was he was Ali Bouncer. <laughs> Yeah, you're, because if you pump a 2-2 two, two stranger to a 3-2, then they can trade up with this card. Yeah. You know? I, I just know something about this guy. Is this, uh... Is this Big Boss? <laughs> this is a Skyrim character. No, he's... Okay, if Skyrim Big Boss are strangers... Do they live on Big Boss's boy club in the ocean? Well, they... What's it called stra again? Strangers probably just come from other video games. Yeah. Like, if you... If you Outer look heaven. at every single stranger, they all look like they belong in some card or video game that is not this one. I'm willing to <laughs> I'm willing to go to the mat for that, but we'll 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 see that later. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> next next up is Xenon Fanatic. It's a four cost three one with life force. At the end of your turn, deal damage to the enemy player equal to the heart you've gained this turn. What's it called? Life steal. The enemies pull the double damage. Yeah. What? A, yeah. So the ooh the, does this the guy? Cool, yeah. I would say the cool part with this is that you like we've talked about how life force like knows how much health you've gained without having to have seen it. 
Yeah. So, like, all of a sudden, Secret Lethal shows up post-combat. Yeah. This guy does an infinite if you give him lifesteal somehow, because it's a at-end-of-turn trigger. Yeah. But Which that's is probably exciting. for the best, let's be honest. So, like, you just two-card Lethry on this guy up, and... Zroop. Okay, that so that happen in Hearthstone for a I while. kind of I kind of hate that this guy is in Shadow. I understand. I understand. It's consistent with how they've set the rules and all that. But I have a deck that has uh has the camel and draws like 15 extra cards every turn thanks to giving second sight echo. Oh, this would be the perfect and That would for that, that would be the perfect finisher for that deck. But I oh, I just can't play him. Just stop playing just normal sigils in that deck and just play all seats just to get your your black mana. Yeah, right. I don't I don't know if I'm ready for that because I have things that uh, like part of the deck is also pulling sigils out of your deck. You, uh, could, put, so. you could put back in the uh... put put witching hour back witching in that deck. In. Oh put no, witching, hour, put witching power back in maybe like ooh, like some I guess kind of, that's uh, four power of life steal. So that kind of no, Steven fanatic is fine, kind of comboy pretty poor if you don't have any life force like unplayably bad if you if you can't gain life <laughs> he's a out for the kind of deck that just wants to sit back gain life and shields up all game yeah. and like here's your way to finish the game off uh it's worth stating that any deck that does that with these kind of cards is very weak to wrath of god but whatever okay next up is minotaur light hoof light light hoof light hoof the leaf hoof the leaf hoof minotaur leaf hoof Summon, uh, another unit is unblockable this turn. There's a 4-5 cost 4. For this guy is great. This is, yeah, this is incredible. This this, this lady is quite yeah. good. Like, wait, is that, is that, wait a second. Has every... Okay, almost all of the Shadow Minotaurs have been ladies. Some of them haven't been. Yeah, like, the uh, the only one that hasn't is uh, Relentless the, the, Gorehorn, I think. Yeah. But now we have... Cabal Bludgeoner, we have mis Mystery 2 1. <laughs> the, yeah. Like, so again, unblockable, you, you, you know, without there being infiltrate in this set, you might forget about it, but you know, infiltrate, this is a card that's like I infiltrate and I get to make my two five fives, or I infiltrate and I get to draw my three cards and gain my three life. Or even if you're like playing some kind of Argonport creature feature deck, it's like I make a big creature and attack you for seven or something like that. Yeah. Like with your weapon class. So the things right things rather good. Yep. Well, okay. Uh next up is Obrak the Feaster. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a five cost three shadow influence, seven seven with flying and revenge. Mm -hmm. And at the start of your turn, sacrifice a unit. I like this card because it has a drawback. This is Yoldi demon. Uh, Black Demon, although maybe it's not a downside. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, you can, like, destiny it back, I guess, and have another block. <laughs> now, you you, you want to have some units to sacrifice with this. So this is like, you, like you an Entomb Lord. Yeah. Like um, some kind of like Stone Scar or other just other shadow deck that just plays like combust type effects. Yeah, I, I think the if I'm, I think honestly, if I'm playing that style of deck, I'm still going to want Umbrun Reaper rather than this guy. Mm. Mm. Well, you probably have to play a seventy-five card deck. Why not play both? Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to like push yourself out of fire and. But between between Umbrun Reaper and uh, Charge Dragon, the Mistake card, what is that thing called? Soulfire Drake or something? Soulfire Drake, yeah. Um, between those two, it's really hard to justify a, a five cost unit that has like this going on to it. You would re you would really have to want the drawback in some way. Mm hmm. Which isn't hard. Really, like with the the cards you've mentioned, so it's not like this is bad by any stretch. Yeah, it's, it's neat. It's a neat card, and it also is called Ubrak the Feaster. <laughs> so you can like Feaster Ubrak. You can yell that at your opponent. Oh, that's a feast ball. So, oh. uh, next up is um Umbrin Thurster, uh, mm -hmm. continuing the trend of. <laughs> 
set to Radiance being sexy ladies, which is awful, and uh, I can't do anything about it. Um, right, it, but it keeps happening, and it's the worst. But this one at least correctly has no hair. That's really, really weird for. I, I kind of like how she looks like an alien. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, if this were the only if this this were the only card in the trend, it would be like fine. Whatever. Mm. The the fact that it's a trend yeah. is the problem. That is, yeah. that is or of, is the next set gonna be all back to beefy uh, dudes? <laughs> Are they gonna do that every other set? No, they have to nope, they're they can't uh, they can't go back to what they've done before, so they have to keep inventing like genders. Which uh, will be great more, uh, when yeah. they when they finally they, get they, to that. They pull up to thirteen genders yeah. and they No, I, I look they, forward to them trying to do that. The Bronze Men are the next one. So, uh, uh, the card. The card is a, a 5 power 2 4 with life force. When you gain heart, Umber Thurster gets plus 1 and flying. Plus 1 sword and flying. And that doesn't say this turn. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. keeps the power and the flying. That's kind of weird. Like, all the other life force cards have been kind of. I guess this has like half of a permanent thing and half of a one time thing. Yeah. Really? Because even though it gains flying again, it's just like flying, flying doesn't do anything. So that's I that's suppose. a little bizarre. That's it. The card's decent. You trigger once, you get a three, four flyer, which is a is I guess cost of five. <laughs> yeah, I guess eventually you can get a five, four flying, flying, flying. A five, flying, four, flying, 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 flying. Taunt, 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 taunt. <laughs> um, this thing's uh, this thing's decent. Yeah, I'm not I'm not as happy about this one as as some of the others. I guess that's all I, I can expect from a common. Yeah, I I over like uh, flying in limited. So. Okay. Okay. I, I see. Uh, next up is Direwood Prowler, which is a six cost five five. Uh, summon. You may sacrifice another unit to draw two cards. Oh. Yeah, all right. Mm, a beefy thing that has... Um... You, you may sacrifice another unit to draw two cards and then draw another card. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish this thing could eat himself. Yeah. So, like, if you just... If you're that hard up for a, spe a specific effect, or, you can keep or digging. Or if somehow this is your worst creature on the board, like, you can just have just the six mana draw two. Yeah, this thing does have a fair amount in common with Ball Drifter. Um mm. <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't have the healing part of devour, which is suddenly more relevant. Yeah, it's crazy. More relevant. Um, yeah. But it's another thing to go into the sacrifice deck. Hmm. It's not bad. Next yeah. up is slime spitter slug. This card. It's a six cost double shadow influence six four. Summon each flying unit gets minus one, minus one for each of your units. What the hell? When an enemy unit Sorry. dies, you gain heart, and Slime Spitter Slug gets plus one, plus one. This, this is card's what, ridiculous. This is the weirdest card in this card in the set. The um, two. It what reminds me of Molder Slug, because Molder Slug was a beast that got eroded to being a slug. Into no, into a beast slug, and this is a slug that's also a beast. So if Slug gets to be a supported creature type, <laughs> um, it'll be a Slug Beast. Like, take that flying deck, I guess. Sheesh. Well, in, in, I, I have played against this card in one circumstance, and that was Draft. Uh, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Every single flyer dies, this becomes a, an 11, like a 12-10, and you have to chump block it, and now it's the Abyss that gains your opponent life and gets bigger. Like, also, all your evasive <laughs> creatures just died. So, yeah, um, I don't know what you do. Like, yeah. it, it, it might not be immediately obvious, but the second ability is its own ability, so the slug still keeps growing even mm -hmm. uh, after the summon ability triggers. Yeah, that's kind of vile. And starting life is a six-power... 6-4 is fine. Okay. So even if work. there absolutely are no flyers on the board or something, then, uh... Yeah. yeah. But Jeez. there, uh, uh, there <laughs> are, uh, of note, hits your own flyers, so be a little bit wary of that. And th the fact that it, it's like minus one, minus one for each of your units, I don't get the flavor of that. <laughs> right? I, it's, like, this card makes no sense. <laughs> it really doesn't. I guess they wanted it to... They didn't want it to just be flyer plague. They wanted it to 
sometimes do more than that, and that's a mechanical way to do yeah. it. It's, it right. looks like a yeah no the the wording is a mess. There's there's a lot of cards <laughs> in the set that are like this. This is a Robo Rosewater card. It really is. It's very yeah it, it, down to the the name, but. As a Robo Rosewater card, please pick this in draft. You'll basically win games with it just by it. Like, again, you'll kill every flyer in play. It'll become a, a 10 8, and now you win the game. Like, it's, 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 it's good. So, uh, Cabal Rogue is next, a 7 power 5 1 unblockable. <clears throat> this card demands an answer. Yeah, keep your, uh, keep your snowballs in the pocket for this one. This, this card will kill you. Yeah. This lady does not look like she would cost seven mana or really be a five one. Do you see the, like the hip purses here? That's full of the coins that you spent power to get. Ah. Uh, that's, that's how that goes. The eye like. glow. Maybe that's a reflective eyeshadow, and she's just closing her eyes right this second. Yeah, okay. Maybe that is not reasonable. I'll I'll figure out a way to do that. But anyway, uh next up is Inspire Obedience. It's a seven cost spell to shadow influence. Inspire obedience, kill an enemy unit, your units get plus one sword this turn. Uh huh. Like it's a board breaker. Like it says yeah. kill an enemy unit on it, so yeah. You're, you you are not playing this in a constructed format. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Seven mana cards in constructed when you the game when you play them, which yeah. I guess this one can. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about it. It's kind of expensive. I wouldn't want Put more it, than one. Yeah, exactly one is the number you want in limited. Uh, exactly. So next up is Sleepless Night. It's an eight power, two shadow influence spell uh, at rare that says Revenge. Discard your hand and draw four cards. <laughs> we, I've seen this in uh, the decks that are using the, like, you know, revenge, uh, give a unit of years revenge just to, like, dig down. Mm -hmm. this, card's, this card's very expensive. Yeah. And then, Plus... not only that, it will come back at some point when your hand is now full of cards that you don't want to discard. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you like you, the first time you play it, you choose when it happens. But uh... <laughs> yeah, I, they really didn't want their wheel of fortune to be good. They mm -hmm. did it on every yeah. possible angle. But it's still an interesting card. I wish it cost like five or something. Yeah, then I could actually you could you could make use of the cards that you draw. Yeah, that's that's kind of the the bad news. About an eight mana spell. That's it. That's all the sh street shadow cards. All right. Shadow. Shadow. I think that's all the talking about a turtle cards I want to do for today. So mm. thanks, everybody, for oh. joining me on that. Oh, uh, any, shadow. Any standout cards that you guys want to recap? Uh, not in shadow, I don't think. Hmm. We've seen the more interesting one of them's like Swear Vengeance and like Piercing Grief. Memory Dredger, Cat Burglar. Yeah, memory treasures. Yeah. Oh god, we have to figure out if um, what is it? We have to figure out if curses are relics. We do. Uh, have to figure yeah. out if curses are relics. Um, be prepared to deal with memory treasure in the future. You are. We've already seen this card. You're going to keep seeing it. It has four toughness. It's a large creature that basically did better than draw a card. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's he's exciting because he's a build around the rare that's yeah. just sort of fine on his own and gets better. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like that. He's also not like oppressive like some of the other rares that they have, like Umber and Reaper, for God's sake. Interestingly, it is not a May. So if this is like the only monocolored creature in the play in play, it cannot attack if your graveyard only contains uh oh unit okay so that solves it uh i'm thinking <laughs> if this is like a right, mile, you know, like have to annihilate your own memory treasure because you accidentally no that would, that would be cute um what was i think I, I was about to say there's there's no uh doomsayer yet <laughs> mm. that'd be better in this game because you can't attack it <laughs> 
easily be hard to kill Doomsayer. Yeah, yeah, and you can. You're, you're right, you guys. You can have uh, Jack the the knife jacks jackknife. <laughs> that is not a jackknife. No, not a jackknife. Distinctly non, not a non jack jackknife, but Jack's knife from Jack's knife. Jack the the knife jack. Knife Jack's name is definitely Jack. That, that's... Knife's Jack. Call me Jack. Ugh. Like a stab. Okay. Well, with that, good night, everybody. 